Hello, my name is Dr. Nick Buecher. I'm a chemistry instructor at North Seattle Community College. And I'm here today to teach you how to use the lab balance. The first thing you'll notice about the lab balance is it's in a designated zone. You don't want to move it outside of this zone because it's been leveled to ensure proper operation. There is only two buttons that you're going to want to use on this balance right here. We have a power button located in the upper right, and a zero or tear button located just below that. I'm going to hit the power button now in order to turn on the instrument, and you'll notice the boot up screen. After a few moments, zero grams should appear. And at this point, you want to double check that your units are indeed displayed in grams, indicated by the G right here. Should you need to re-zero your mass, you use the zero or tear button in order to do that. One thing you might notice is the last digit or two of mass drifts a little bit due to drafts in the room and vibrations and such. This is perfectly normal. It's not a cause for concern. It's important to remember that grams are very tiny units of mass, so if it drifts by a few hundredths or a few thousandths of a gram, it's not going to cause a significant amount of error. I'm going to now open the wind cover right here to reveal the pan of the balance. And so a very important thing to remember when using the balance is that you never want to put chemicals directly onto the pan right here. You always want to use some sort of surface or container between the chemicals and the pan of the balance. Adjacent to the balances, you will find these weighing papers. You place them on the pan in order to protect the pan from the chemicals. At this point, you will probably want to hit the zero or tear button in order to re-zero the mass. The balance will automatically subtract out the mass of the weighing paper. Alternatively, you might also elect to use a beaker or a weighing boat in order to uh, contain your chemicals. When you record the mass displayed by the balance, you want to record all decimal places in your lab notebook or into your uh, lab template. Uh, that's the proper rule for sig figs when using any digital instrument, is to record all digits. When you're finished using the balance, you want to make sure that you clean the balance. And in order to do that, you'll want to use a brush, and you'll probably need to remove the wind guard. The brush can be used to brush off any chemicals that might have fallen on the balance. And should you make a mess well, uh, of the counter while well, cleaning the balance, I recommend that you use a damp paper towel in order to wipe down the counter. You want to leave the workspace at least as clean as when you found it. When you're all finished with the balance, you will want to close the wind cover and power it down. Should you encounter any problems while using the lab balance, I encourage you to ask your lab instructor for, assist for assistance. They're there to help you. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Thank you. Signing off, Dr. Nick.